A king's will is absolute. That's what's up when someone has all the power in their hands. But what happens when that single point that is holding all that power fails? When they go cray cray. The subjects, us, get burned pretty bad. Well, how about we take that power and split it up? Take it from one centralized point and spread it across multiple decentralized points with the majority of those points having to reach consensus to make a final decision. I'm talking about decentralizing data, which is the solution to the trust issues we have with data being stored in a single point under the control of a single company or entity. And that's a defined characteristic of the Web3, along with an overall more intelligent internet. With semantic web and machine learning also come into play, like the Web2 that also had its defining characteristics, with the rise of social media and e-commerce platforms, and the focus in online collaboration. Straight from the Blockchain Hub article on Web3, in Web3, we are defining data structures, given that we live in a connected world. It's a gradual process, this evolution to Web3. It's all about the reversal of how privacy and personal data are handled. Uh, User-centric internet, and we are all over that. There are still challenges that need to be sorted out before we can be fully decentralized. A major one being scalability, due to how fast uh, decentralized solutions are at this point in time. We are not likely to forsake centralized systems. They have their uses after all. But in general, due to decentralization being more resistant to faults and more secure, we should see the growing adoption of distributed web solutions in the coming years. And blockchain technology is only one of the many solutions. Are you looking forward to Web3? Where do you see it being useful the most? That's all for now. Till next time, I'll see you all later.